Hi, first of all, uh, I hope everybody had a nice uh, coffee break. My name is Radu. I'm a senior developer partner manager uh, here at Definity. So this means in, in short that I, I deal with the ecosystem. So I interact with our ecosystem teams on a daily basis. Um, and I'm here to talk for the next 10 minutes uh, about our ecosystem and have an arguably very short uh, trip through our ecosystem. Um, and I encourage everyone to be curious and explore what, what other apps, apart from, from the ones that I'm going to present, are being built. Um, but before, before deep diving into our ecosystem, it's worth kind of giving a bit of context and seeing what is happening in the, in the global crypto ecosystem. And the reality is that roughly around 1% of the interactions happen on chain. That is mostly uh, token exchanges. Due to various reasons, um, a lot of, of the data is stored off chain, be it on, on centralized uh, architectures or, or other type of, of data storage facilities. This, this puts quite some problems. One is, of course, centralization and the fact that um, there is the possibility of developers simply pulling the rug. Um, on projects. The other one is also cost and accessibility and, and scalability. So um, what, what we do and, and what we believe is that the future is decentralized. So we're asking ourselves the questions, the question, can a blockchain be extended to actually hold the entire full stack of, of software that is being used in, in modern applications? And the answer is that it's possible and it can be done through a world computer that runs fully on chain. And thanks to our wonderful uh, developers and our wonderful ecosystem, this is already happening. And we're having dApps that are translating their uh, Web2 equivalent into the Web3 space. So you have dApps that are, are stored and, and that are hosted fully on chain um, that run, for example, a Kickstarter type of campaigns where projects and artists can, can fundraise for their projects. You have dApps that run a uh, TikTok equivalent and tokenized creator economies. You have um, mail equivalents where the entire email exchange is being in, is being hosted uh, on chain and, and tokenized. So how how is that possible, right? So let's look at, at the three main pillars of this uh, fully on chain um, architecture that that our developers are using. So the first and the most important thing is the way smart contracts on ICP work. So there are two, two very important aspects of it. They, they hold both logic and memory. This is a key enabler of, of having dApps that run fully on chain because without memory, you cannot store data, you cannot access it, and you cannot verify the authenticity of the data that is being uh, used on, on chain. How, how some of our ecosystem projects are leveraging this, this capability is by hosting all interactions, um, again, on chain. So you have games that are hosting the entire uh, stack of, of interactions between players, uh, between AI training agents, for example, fully on chain. You can, with, with this um, applicability of, of having full stack um, dApps running running on chain. You can have, for example, microtransactions um, and um, players not not needing to to pay gas fees whenever they're interacting and they're receiving an NFT for for whatever they they're doing. They are of course rewarded in their in native tokens. We also have, for example, a creator economy um, that is built fully fully on chain that allows um, creators to share their content and be rewarded in a very transparent and decentralized manner. We have a uh, music service uh, that runs again fully on chain. For example, a map based dApp that allows local communities to get together, exchange uh, ideas, share, uh, share opinions and ratings about several uh, places. And of course, games like, like a Minecraft alternative that doesn't rely on, for example, Microsoft uh, to, to run servers and, and whatnot. The second pillar is the fact that on, on the internet computer, 
uh, as, as Andrew briefly explained earlier, we have this uh, service network system uh, framework that allows developers to decentralize the control of their dev. So instead of just uh, pushing the source code and, and having kind of like a static repository of, of code, uh, developers are able to give control of their dev to, to the developers. So how some of our ecosystem teams are leveraging this superpower is, for example, having a chat app that is fully run by, by a decentralized autonomous um, organization. For example, they just ran a proposal to add a new point system uh, for their dev, so to, to gamify the, the chat experience. Um, they are the, the social fi OGs. They were, uh, they were one of the first in, in the space. We have, for example, an event management platform, Catalyze, um, that is something like Eventbrite, so, so tokenizes this whole experience where you're receiving an NFT, you're token gating some, some uh, um, events. We have a DAO controlled, uh, fully, uh, fully DAO controlled decentralized exchange. Um, actually, pretty much all of the decentralized exchanges on ICP are DAO controlled. We have a metaverse platform that is decentralized via this framework. And we also have a TikTok alternative that is, is also tokenizing the, the creator economy. And what is worth uh, mentioning is that through this framework, uh, developers and, and DAP, uh, DAP developers on, on ICP managed to raise more than 120 million in the past uh, 14 to 15 months. Um, the last superpower is Chain Fusion, which uh, you've heard a lot this uh, this morning, is the ability to read and write from uh, from other chains. Um, this allows a seamless operability, interoperability of of DApps. Uh, this allows um, our DApps on ICP to communicate with, with other, other ecosystems and to have a seamless flow of liquidity from one ecosystem to another. Uh, this is a personal favorite of mine. So we have a lot of teams that are leveraging this. We have, for example, Bionic, that is one of the, the most popular ordinals marketplace. They are leveraging the, the, this interoperability with the Bitcoin uh, layer one. They have a gamified um, ordinals um, project and experience. We have an on-chain data hub. Uh, we have Bitfinity, which is an EVM in a canister. We have an, um, a Neo Bank, which is ChainKeyX, and you've heard uh, from them in the morning, a decentralized uh, Bitcoin-backed stablecoin and uh, liquidity mining protocol. Again, this is just a very small uh, snapshot. I encourage everyone to, to have a deeper look into our ecosystem. But wait, there's actually more than this. Uh, so leveraging the, the capabilities of, of ICP, I'm sure you've all seen the demo on, um, on Twitter recently, but leveraging the, the capabilities of ICP, now you can store uh, full AI models um, on-chain. This enables uh, startups like Elna, for example, to create an AI agent creation platform and marketplace. This enables Kinnick to, to improve their, their decentralized search engine um, capabilities through AI and also have a vector-based database that uh, sits fully on chain and also startups like Decide AI uh, to run a model that is fully on chain and detects uh, abusive language in text. And with this, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. And if you want to learn more about our ecosystem, you can uh, go to either our ecosystem page or our uh, check out our latest ecosystem report where you'll find many more uh, dApps that are being built on ICP. So thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>